SH Figa Altsu Ultimate Muscle. I don't know what they called in Japan. Yeah, uh, this is just called muscle. And I don't this think I'll ever. This is though. It's called in Japan, Kinikuman. Japanese. Kinikuman. Kinikuman. This is the main character. This is the Bandai version of Kinikuman. The Tamashii Nissan. Not is it Figure Arts? As Brandon Durizan said. Figure Artsu. Sorry, I, well, I, I would make a terrible mistake. It's, 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 it's Figure Arts, but it is Tamashii Nissan as well. I got nothing on Lily. But this is yet. number one, number two. This is. Kinikuman and Warsman. Warsman. War Muscle and Warsman. <laughs> Muscle Man. Warsman. It, it was it really just. Oh, I guess oh, I just learned some Japanese today, so I'm assuming the man part is man, and Kiniku means muscle. I don't speak Japanese, and you can correct me if you want to, but I'm not sure. Quick, yes. But I'm not going to go Google Translate right there. No. But this is the Bandai version. We did already cover the Rebel Mini Kinikuman. Yes, and look, these guys are like freaking huge. They are. Yeah, well, then again, he's Rebel Tuck Mini, so he's. Yeah, he's Rebel well. Mini. Let's go over here for now, and we'll get back to him later. I kind of noticed, like, if, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but one thing I kind of noticed is that the. Um, the bubble didn't even look like a little bit. Boobs. They do look like they have boobs, and it's weird. They're, they're like almost like when they design the molds, they're like, these are chicks, right? And they're like, no, they're not. Okay. Um, oh, wait, it's got <gasps> the happy, very happy kitty in the top. Oh! It's a happy it's, kitty um, of a cowboy hat. I think it's one of the Japanese mascots. Like it's like uh, it's not Doraemon, but I think someone from that era. I, this is not the first time I've seen that cat head. I think it's, it's from, first like, time I've seen it. The animes or something during the eighties. I think they had something to do with it. Let's get him out of the box. As you see, he does have alternative faces. What? And, oh, so this is something hands. that this guy didn't even have. No, right? he didn't. this guy was pretty bare bones in terms of release. If I remember, uh, right? he had extra hands. That's it. <laughs> and he has really weird hot pants action. Everybody so, dance now. Dun, dun, oh, so dun, Kiki dun, dun, came dun. out of the box with his hand twisted the wrong, the wrong way. I guess oh. someone put him in a, a wrist lock. That didn't go so well. <laughs> He's all buried now. Permanently handicapped him. But so, that's okay. He's a let's figure. Get, let's get the plastic off him. These figures are meant for. These are quite nice. You just pull the little tabs out. They're already the, just slide out. Just gotta pull them in the right direction. <laughs> that's what Japanese toys and blow up doll faces. It's a wrestling yeah. mask. It's a wrestling mask that moves. He's got different. I mean, unless he unless he takes his face off every time he changes exposure. It's an anime, after all. It is. They do a lot of weird things in there. Hey, blood dolphins. So he didn't come with stands or anything. Doesn't really need it though. I would think that this guy seems pretty balanced, and he's also super beefy. He's super beefy. Look at those. And Somebody, abs. well, you know, when you look at it, Back I think muscles all theoretically sculpted. you could be able to tit fuck this guy. Just saying, theoretically, you could. So he does have double joint knees. Whoa! Because you know you can put them in wrestling holds and stuff. So exactly. double joint elbows. Can you imagine like wrestling figures that didn't have double jointed elbows? Oh wait, Mattel toys. Never mind. And their predecessors. The ball Jackson. joint head and also extra hinge. Which also can ball jointed. I stand corrected. I think some WWE stuff has double jointed elbows. So he does have elbow joints, and also they go slide out so you actually have more. Holy shit! Back muscle. Oh. And his shoulder, like I guess, is almost like it's kind of like what Play Arts has done. They kind of did like three. I think it's integrated better than Play Arts because the actual on some Play Arts toys, this thing actually unfolds out, like it unhinges out, so you can actually oh, yeah. get. It just looks horrible from the back, but but this one they've actually compensated. They've actually put a little yeah, sculpting put a in there. Yeah, sculpting and there, kind of, and this slides right yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. On the clearance where you just kind of discombobulate the arm forward and achieve the same effect. I mean, it just doesn't look as nice. So I think these are the full head. Yes, they are the full head. Okay, so they don't have like. So you've got things. angry fist. Hooga! Lights a little bright, but it's okay. <laughs> also, you've got kind of in pain fist. Ooh. It doesn't help this guy so is so pasty. He is so pasty. And the spare hands, or open hands, but they're also hands. See, so you, you do have all the things you do articulate in the extra hands. Hey, look, everybody. It's Magic Mike. Ooh, so ooh, how ooh, easy ooh, is it to change ooh. the hands and the head? Let's just see. I'm thinking a gambling man. I think we just pull on it. Ball Ooh's joint. That? There you go. Let's put his angry face on. <laughs> look. Super easy. He wants to kiss you. A little ball joint for kiss. the hand. Kiss the camera. Ow. <laughs> oh, look, he got a mark on his face. 
Wait, he has a mark on his face. That's actually the wrong face. The wrong hand for the... <laughs> he put the wrist. wrong hand on like, ah. So first off, he got a broken wrist in the package, and you know, like... What so super to easy to change. Nice. Oh, look. Don't be so angry. Let me kiss you. Don't kiss my nose, motherfucker. And you're kissing yourself. And my head just blew off for him. What the hell, man? There you go. You can't get him posing. Oh, look at this. Oh dear, not again. That's the problem. Take my, take my That's the problem when you have a ooh face. Oh, what, look, what, look at you made a pose. He's just like, hey, heck, hey. Exactly. Okay, so one thing about this one. Okay, so since you've actually seen the anime, what's more... I've seen more... Ultimate Muscle, not this muscle. Okay, so let's not be like, spend too much of focus on this, but who has the more accurate shorts? This guy looks like he's kind of got like the squared boy shorts thing going on. That's done pretty poor, like it's done... Yeah, it's done pretty bad. Leaving something to be designed. This guy has a traditional Speedo. Which one's more accurate? I think that one's way more accurate. <laughs> Look at how he's both. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Chuan Nikki. Chowaniki. As in one of our one of our subscribers will know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah, at least one of our subscribers will know exactly oh. what I'm talking about. Oh look at him, he's just like he's just really he's just playing up for the camera. But look, he's so photogenic though. <laughs> Especially when he's got the butt sticking out. He does have the he's <laughs> he's arching his back. Look at this. This, this is, he makes po he he makes us all feel bad. I feel like I should go to the gym now because look at just look at that body. Oh he works out. I got a better idea. Let's okay. pop it back right in that one. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, God. So, this is for you guys. So that know who, exactly who you are. So much, can you <laughs> oh, my goodness. And he actually... Let's, the, let's move to the side here. just one detail? Those shorts are <laughs> really riding up there. Well, you've seen your ass. Well, mean, a lot. They easily ride up a little bit. Not, well, I don't really stare that closely, but... I mean, well, even the Rebel Tech ones. This, this one's like. kind of like sculpted like it's riding up there. No, no, we must keep him in camera range. He's still in camera range. Good, because he's pretty. But he's pretty. Bandai, just going by the Kini Kuman, way better than the Bandai, uh, Rebel Tech version. Pros, though, I think you said you could buy, what, two of these for the price of this guy? At least two of them. But those. honestly, it looks like it kind of, like, if you had to go with this, I mean... If you really want to get into the uh, line, definitely the Bandai Because he's got articulated line. hands, too, right? Yep, those yeah. are... You can get the articulated hands. There's yeah. two different hands. There's a fist or articulated hand. So this you get guy, the open hand, you know. close up, wherever you chop, wherever you want to do. Mm. This guy, basically, you get the fist or a chop. Yeah. I think he's got a grip hand, but I can't remember the boxes put away somewhere right now. But definitely... That's what happens when you put kissy face on him. Well, they all have kissy face. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Kini Kuman anyway, because of his mask. But definitely way more range in the... Bandai version. This version may be going back in the box. I'm thinking so. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely going. I've got the, two more in the Bandai line pre order. Wow. Already. How do you feel, Rebel Tech? You've been replaced. Besides, this super sexy pose just needs to be honored with the right face. The ball joints are really easy to change the pieces out. It is, actually, because I was kind of worried about that. But I don't know if he looks like he's. Yeah, it's better now. He's playing it up for the camera. Ooh, he's got duck lips going on. Ooh. So let's put the Rebel Tech version back here. Ooh. Let's get Warsman out. Warsman! Definitely a lot better, nicer for the camera. And he doesn't... He doesn't dress as slutty as this guy does. Uh, you do know that <laughs> he's not wearing a full body outfit, that's just his skin color. <laughs> so he is technically naked. Oh my god, he's a slut too, that's awesome. Oh, professional wrestling. Come on. Why would we that make you not wear clothes? Wow, that thing really was. Like, it says he... He's got a full body wrap on this one. <laughs> I can't believe this pose. He's just like... I think we should turn him around for a little bit for the for the camera. Let him play for the camera. There we go. I think we're going to have lots of hits on this one because it's an unintentionally sexy video. Earth sexy video. So well, sexy. it's for one of our subscribers, so... <laughs> there we go. That's a little bear. He's got the... He's got the plastic guy over there. Oh, you, He's got Wolverine type yeah, hands. Oh, I'm sexy. That's probably not legal. Um, but it's intergalactic wrestling, so I guess whatever goes. No, it's going for this one. Okay. We're doing this guy right now. No. <laughs> so he's got real shiny boots. He's got <laughs> the knee pads, shiny. Yeah. Same articulation, basically. So very anime accurate, I presume? I guess yeah. so. Yeah. It's Bandai, so. Yeah. He does have a different <laughs> sculpt. Oh. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's not, it's not like he's, he's doing the exact same sculpt on the, all the figures? Oh, okay, so they didn't kind of cheat, because I'm thinking, like, the tights. I mean, obviously, they look different, right? So it's kind of nice to see that, you know, this line, like many wrestling lines, could have a lot of reuse between it, but this one looks like they've astute. No, they stayed away from that. Definitely, the arms are a little different and everything, so they haven't just reused the body parts. Good God, he is just a beast. This guy looks so much vanilla and plain of the other guy. So, this guy, what you can do is, if you want to change your hands, you have to. Take, oh, take okay, that so that's off. a removable part. And then you put I, um, the back piece. I would sex you to buy the guy um, on the right. I talk like sound wave. There you go, and like there that. is a non-clawed version. Oh, so, so he's literally Wolverine claws. <laughs> oh dear. I do not have a nicely defined ass. He got two sets of claws. I am actually quite flat. He does there. have the articulated hands. Am I a robot? Yes, he is a robot. Oh, I hope you have not been programmed for sex. I just got kind of two alternative heads. I probably have. Oh my. Do you like this helmet? It protects my ears. So, let's just change that. <laughs> head. Ouch. To the kind of a Halloween head. This is Halloween, so clearly he had no. He doesn't look like he appears to have any physical thing that resembles a mouth, and now he does. <laughs> this is kind of an evil <laughs> grin laugh, <laughs> and this is kind of a, I guess, bowel damage type face. Yeah, I think he's got a couple of cuts on the face, right? He's leak. Oh, he's got blood like Bishop from Aliens does, except those cuts are really like spot on. Whoever cut his face was like, I want to cut. Or he's got more paint or something. So this take. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I still like the, um, like you say, when you go dub the Halloween head, like, it kind of gives a little bit more emotion. It, it just makes me look maybe of a jack-o'-lantern. It is true. I mean, like, this head, like, you know, classic default face, but it's kind of boring, right? I mean, this one kind of gives them some personality. Let's change the hand out to a grippy hand, because I do like the claws. I do like the grippy hand. Yeah. So, pop that on. And pop on all of his claws. They only go on one way. Oh, okay, so you can't mix them up. No, okay. Not like it really makes a difference. This is my left hand, this is my right. He looks like a dirty guy. He's like a heel wrestler. He's definitely a heel. He's a heel all the way. No one looks like that who has claw hands and isn't a heel. But he doesn't rock the sexy pose as good as this guy does. No, I think he only wore shorts. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> then you can arch his butt so it's Let's totally give him two sets of claws, here. just because. Yeah, and don't forget, I think I try to get him a sexy pose. Just for our viewers. Because that's what they want on a Friday night. Sexy pose. Sexy, sexy is all I do. I'm not sure I'm going to get him a sexy pose. He doesn't really suit it. No, he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't have that. He's got more of a Wolverine pose going on right now. Exactly. I think he's going to end up keeping with a Wolverine type pose. I think so. I think it suits him, but. But he's definitely chewing on Nikki. Totally. <laughs> Brandon wants to get into this figure line now. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's unintentionally hilarious. Oh my god, it's funny. Uh. <laughs> Hmm, I think I'm going to keep the jack-o'-lantern face. I think so. I Honestly, his faces are a little... I mean, they're probably accurate to the original yeah, Science anime, yeah. but I think they're kind of boring. You know, like, I mean, this one is just cool because it just gives him that, that bit Evil of personality, look. right? Just to sell it that he's a heel wrestler. He's not just a silent... Like, I don't know, he could be the silent, non-talking type. But, hell, this one just makes him look so much more cooler. Um, come on, which line do you prefer? Wow. I'm totally digging the guy on the far right right now. <laughs> Come on, Rebel Tech, can you do that? We, we can't get his arm up there. I don't think he can, right? Oh, yeah, okay, he can. But can he arch his butt out? <laughs> Not really, no. No, so who wins the sexy post contest? Figure art does. Hands down. Hands down. That's why I'm kind of a, I have a fighting pose because it, 
I don't he, know. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Bande one that pose just, just for he fun. Just, he just can't rock this. Yeah. That was a, it was completely unintentional as well, but... And you know what? I think the internet likes it. I think the internet approves. We're going to get a comment from one of our friends. Oh. Send that they want the figure, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but on this these figures, Bande does have a wrestling ring corner stage you can get. Oh. It's 25 bucks for the stand. It's a little pricey. Oh. Uh... Twenty-five bucks, roughly, depending on the currency exchange. Just for the stand. Just for one corner. So there may be a chance. It comes with a quarter of the wrestling ring. You may or may not see this on review. Of this I do want to get them eventually. It's just yeah. not right now. Just not right now. I mean, until like you say, if you have four guys to occupy the corners, I think it would make more sense. And so. you can, it comes with a proper, uh, special stands to mind on them. Um, uh, it looks like they're jump off the turnbuckle and stuff. Blue, 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 so blue. it is a cool stand, but if you want full wrestling, you got to buy four, and that's about ninety dollars just for four. Mm. I think yeah, I think it works at twenty two fifty or seven <laughs> on the exchange rate when I price it. Oh my god! You know what? I'm taking that away from Brad. No, don't. So yeah, it worked at about twenty two fifty on that day. I priced it at, mm. and uh, it worked at about ninety dollars. Say ninety to hundred dollars for all four corners. I still think it's worth it for this pose guy alone. Put him in the middle of that thing. I'm gonna wait till I get more of the wrestlers before I order the stand. Yes. Cause then I've got more to put to fill it with. Instead of I've, right now, I've got two figures to fill it with, and it's like it's not gonna work for me. Well then, I think this is another awesome import toy review, um, unintentionally homoerotic. Um, or intentional, we may never know. But yes, but thanks for watching, YouTube. Make sure okay. to stay tuned. Oh, look at that. Yep, he's arching his back. Maybe we'll face the camera. There we go. There we go. Because I think we've seen his ass for like a good third, like last half of the video. Probably. Because I watched it there. Yeah, you put it there intensively. <laughs> there he goes again. Anyway, YouTube, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Look at that. So, Brandon said to play around the figure a little bit. And he's balancing perfectly and shaking the table a little bit too. And, and he's still stunned. Exactly. And now he's like he's dipping no. in. Lover. No. My lover. So, yeah, the, like the balance is really good in these figures. So, honestly, definitely worth it. Totally. <laughs> Thanks again.